October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and today I want to talk about something that comes up over and over and over again, whether it's on um, my group, the Hormone Harmony Club on Facebook, or in any of the other millions of groups that, that are out there. And that is, um, I'm afraid to take hormone replacement therapy because I'm afraid I'm going to cause myself to get breast cancer. And so, because it's Breast Cancer Aware Awareness Month, I think this is a really important topic to address. So, let's look at where the, all the fear came from. So, back in 2002, there was a study called the Women's Health Initiative. And in that study, they took women who were postmenopausal, and anyone who had had a hysterectomy got estrogen alone, and women who still had their uteruses got a combination of estrogen and a synthetic progestin, Provera. And that combination product is called Prempro. So all of the, all of the products that were used in the study were synthetic because Premarin comes from the urine of pregnant mares and the Provera is a synthetic progestin. And if you missed my discussion of progestins and progesterone a couple of weeks ago, you can find that on the website. So in that study, they gave the women these medications and the study actually was stopped early because the women that were in the combination group were getting more cases of breast cancer and they were also getting more cases of heart attacks, blood clots, and strokes. And so obviously, um, you don't want to continue that scenario if, uh, if there's a problem because that's dangerous and unethical. So the, the media seized on the findings and published it everywhere. And so women got ripped off of their estrogen therapy immediately, which if you've ever done that, you know that it, that makes your body very unhappy. Um, and they were really left without solutions. But as it turns out, when they went back and reanalyzed the data, what they discovered was that the women in that combination group um, the, the bad part of the combination was actually the progestin and not the estrogen because the women in the estrogen only group had actually a small protective effect against cancer. So that data, um, that re reanalysis of the data has actually led to a change in recommendations about HRT that came out in July. And so, um, the recommendation is still not to use a synthetic progestin because we know that that is what contributes to cancer. So a better idea is to use natural progesterone in combination with estrogen in women who still have a uterus who really need some relief from their menopausal symptoms. So the recommendations now state that hormone therapy can be given for as long as it needs to be given to create symptom relief. Um, so that's the most striking change that, that has come out of the recommendations because previously they recommended that you limit HRT to only five years and that you start within, I believe, five years of menopause. Um, it's still better to start earlier after menopause, but um, there's no longer that limitation that you have to start within a certain time period or it's too late. So that's good news. So let's go back to the study and talk about the blood clots, heart attacks, and strokes because that is a real risk and that risk is most elevated with oral estrogen products. And the reason for that is because the oral estrogen has to travel through your liver to be metabolized and eliminated from your body. And in that process, it increases your clotting factors. And so all three of those things actually have a clotting component to them. Heart attacks can be caused by a clot, strokes can be caused by a clot, and then obviously blood clots are caused by a clot. So if you can avoid oral estrogen, you're, much, um, you're gonna have a lower risk of having those things happen. And so for that reason, uh, patches um, and creams and sprays are the preferred method of estrogen delivery. So if you can avoid oral estrogen, that is the way to go. So I hope this clears up some confusion about breast cancer and estrogen. I know that there's still a lot of fear out there. 
But my suggestion is to learn what the new recommendations are so that you can advocate for yourself if relief from hormone symptoms is something that you need. And in my next video, I'm gonna talk about lifestyle factors that can help decrease your breast cancer risk. So that's it for right now, and I will see you soon.